Yeah, thanks for for uh, doing this, Senator. So, following up on Patrick's question, um, you know, the, the most recent announcement of three billion dollars in aid that includes some some pretty substantial firepower as well, like the uh, armored vehicles. Um, can you talk just about the politics of this again, and kind of what you're what you're hearing from some of the Republican counterparts on the other side, and then kind of as a follow up, is there more that the U.S. should be doing? Are we are there weapons that we haven't sent yet that, that we should be doing, should be sending to support Ukraine? Well, one of the meetings, to answer the second part of your question first, one of the meetings we had was with the entire general staff of the, of the Ukrainian military, and it was a detailed presentation of everything they needed, uh, and a lot of which is being supplied by various countries, uh, but we can't, uh, we're not, we, we're unable to meet all of the all of their requests. But the, the biggest thing they need now is uh, air defense. And that's why an important part of that announcement on Friday was uh, Patriot missile battery, one from the US. And I, I think Germany is, is uh, stepping up uh, to provide another. And there are several other options, uh, opportunities for additional Patriot batteries, because all of this uh, bombing, and, and it's not bombing, by the way, it's missiles and drones. It's not air conventional, we think of airplanes fly, flying over and dropping bombs. That's not what's happening. It's, uh, it's missiles uh, uh, and drones that are being launched from outside of Ukraine, from, from Russia and, and uh, other, uh, from the Black Sea. Uh, so uh, air defense is one of the most critical things and that's why the, the Patriots are important. And, and that's, I think the one area where we can continue to work with them and I know that's the case to supply as much uh, air defense uh, capability as we can. The first part of your question is about the politics. And uh, to be honest, I don't know how deep in the Republican party goes the skepticism. I know that there are members of the uh, uh, far right uh, uh, caucus, which by the way, I did a calculation the 20 members who were driving the debate last week in the House represent 3.7% of the membership of the U.S. Congress. That's, if you talk about the tail wagging the dog, uh, this is a, uh, it was a very, it's a very short tail wagging a very big dog, 3.7% uh, of those people. Now, whether, I don't think that the, the mainstream of the Republican Party in the House uh, is sharing these uh, these sentiments, but it is it is concerning, uh, and I think we just have to continue to remind people how important it is, and that this is not uh, some faraway, uh, you know, conflict that doesn't involve us. Uh, that's the same attitude that was in this country in the late 1930s, uh, and uh, because of the lack of response to Hitler. Uh, in the West, in the in between 1936 and, and 1939, we ended up with World War II and 55 million people killed. Uh, so this is a place where uh, we can uh, stop this. And I should say, uh, Maya Angelou said, if if somebody tells you who they are, you should believe them. And Putin has made very clear that his overall goal is to reestablish the Soviet Union. He said that he thinks the breakup of the Soviet Union was the greatest tragedy of the 20th century. And so I have no doubt that if he had been able to sweep into Kyiv uh, and uh, polish off the Ukrainian government and the Ukrainian resistance within a matter of weeks or months, uh, we would now be seeing uh, 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 fake uh, uh, provocations to, to move into the Baltics, to Poland, to Hungary, to Moldova, uh, this is his goal. And the question is, are we gonna stop him here and now, or are we going to allow this uh, uh, not so gradual aggression uh, by a dictator uh, to continue? So that's why this is so important. It's a case I'm gonna to continue to make. Uh, my, my response to my Republican colleagues who are making these noises is read a little history uh, because history tells us Now's the time to take a stand. Thank you. Uh, Phil Hirschhorn. Phil, what's your question, 